Alright, then come back to another episode of the Kansas Book Club in the Bones. Okay, Book Club, yeah. Guess <laughs> what? Today, guys, one extreme, 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 extreme special episode because today, guys, your episode 249, which is 249, guys. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy amount of episodes, guys. And this is, and I think this is the third episode that I'm making this day in a, in a row. And you see, another thing which is like crazy. I think it's the first time that I'm using uh, the red uh, light on the book. I, don't, I can't see my finger. But you see the book over here. The book over here, you see it's a red. <laughs> first time I'm thinking, so shout out so many things, time, things. So guys, and this is extremely next episode because this is the last episode of the Informic Habits. We are going to finish the book today. Tomorrow we are going to have the special episode, a special episode of the takedowns and everything about the book. And everything is about the book. You're going to finish the book. Wait a minute, I just, because, yeah. The finish of the book. And then I'll continue, we are going to finish the book. So I really love the book. And I'm part of happy that I'm finishing this because I love it to finish books, to finish the series and to start a new series. But I'm sad because I really enjoyed the episode. The book, so you get it. So, guys, if you're not the channel, welcome me before. And if you're already familiar on the channel, welcome back. My name is Zeki, and I'm the host. And on this podcast, guys, we're also together on this speaking level and on the communication skill to stay in front of the camera to get back from the camera. And this put I use this podcast because I truly believe that English is the only one tool that each one was must acquire in order to, to be successful in life. And the second is it's going to pass a lot, it's not to come back from the camera. And if you take those two skills combined, you can get content and you can influence millions of people, of people around the world. And it's very important for me to encourage other people to work on the English because I, I know that when I, I'm aware of it. Because when I started the, this, this process of working on my English, I didn't speak so well. And I was afraid and didn't feel so, felt so confident, confident, confident to speak in English and to speak on the camera and to put myself out there to, to the whole world to review, to review my English. And my parents, I got my just there. And I didn't think, I feel uh, so comfortable to steer the camera. I felt that I, I told that I, but I look so good enough. If it's an acting or something, I didn't, I, I wasn't uh, looking so good enough to be in the camera. My pronunciation was, uh, wasn't right. My English wasn't so right. And even though I said, yeah, it's important enough for me to speak in English and to be in the camera. It's important enough for me so I can uh, be, and I really pay the price of putting myself out there and just buy other people and just continue. And I hope you guys that by sharing with you guys my own, uh, my own struggle, my own journey, my struggles, my failures, my success, I will inspire you also to work, also work on English and to also inspire the world to make a difference because you are in. So just to you guys, just work on English. And this is what we are going, we are going, we are doing in this podcast. And today, guys, you see, I get this really nice background, summer vibe, it's like a market. To clear my mind, I enjoyed. I love this appear this uh, background. And if, and if you want to check out this background again, you know where you know where you, know where you can find it. We're free to go on Bam, You can find them good fun. Find them good fun. <laughs> and this is great. The background uploaded by to good fun by Menora on 17 of October 2016. And in the movie Menora, it's Hanukkah. It's they uh, were just finished uh, Hanukkah, it's a uh, holiday, and we like the Menora. So <laughs> it's funny. I find it funny. And of course, guys, we like the video. We like the, of course, like the video, but we like the background because we really love it. And if you want to check it to download the picture, just need to choose the resolution over here. Press download. Right click on the picture. Right on the shame on set picture in English. And type down in the comment below, I want it in your own language. Press it, say click on it. Choose the one to save it. Press save and comment just like, that you will get this great background on the computer. So thank you very much for that. We made this great background and thank you very much for me now for sharing and uploading this great background to good fun. And today, guys, we are continue, we are finishing, almost finishing the book. We are finishing the book, and tomorrow we are going to finish the series. But I'm a bit, I really enjoy this episode, I really enjoy the book. And yeah, and guys, if you I keep all the things tomorrow for the last episode, and guys, if you want to check out James Clear, who is the author of uh, the book. Atomic habits and take and you got the takedowns and notes and everything. Oh, if you want to check out this grand account, you got all the links in the description below. So make sure to check them out and make sure to like them. And guys, if anyone of you have any suggestions for me, I can pull myself on the podcast. Oh, 
if anyone who want to come to the podcast and they get the podcast, share with me the phone, recommend me about books. What does the second time thing in English? Because Bruni, that's guy, please let me know in the comments. We also can arrange it. Another thing, guys, feel free to share your message with the phone if you got some tips, if you missed, if you learned some nice quote from the book, from the book club, or if there's some new for me on the podcast. Let us share it all with you and follow us in the description in the comment below so we can all enjoy it and be smart and be kind and improve ourselves with your wisdom. And one thing, guys, if you enjoyed the episode, if you enjoyed the episode and if you enjoyed the book club, please subscribe to the channel. We have only two subscribers to the channel. Share it with you. Subscribe to the channel. Put that in the show. Yeah, okay. So next time, extremely exciting episode are coming to YouTube. And you know, it's going to be, you might get the takedown in the notes take downs and tips for the book and they talked about the book special and on Sunday Monday Tuesday and Friday Friday and Friday we're going to get 250 episodes special episode 250 episodes guys which is blowing my mind so we definitely and after that we to fix some of that we are going to get the one year special episode the one year of podcasting which then I can believe that I'm going <laughs> we're going to achieve this milestone so I mean, from that, even though it's really late in the, in the evening and in the, in the night, and even so, that I record already record two episodes. This is the third first, the third episode that I'm recording today. I'm really pumped up because <laughs> I really enjoyed it. So, let's go, let's go, let's go. So, guys, without any, we just dive right into the book. So, the last time, one last time, one last time, Atomic Habits by James Kevin Reed by the Meet, page 199 to 100 to 200, and nothing that you got on this. And the first half, but this is the last episode of we are going to finish the book. It was a myth, the legend, the one and only, the man himself, the one and only, the man himself, the man himself, the man himself, the man himself, the man yeah, 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 there is an assigned uh, Greek uh, parable known as the Sonatus uh, Paradox, which talks about the effect one small action uh, can have when uh, repeated enough times. One formulation of the, of the paradox goes as follows. Can one coin make a person rich? If you give a person a pile of uh, 10 coins, you wouldn't claim that he or she is rich. But, then, but what if you add another? And another one, and another one, another one. We just call it another one. DJ AK, another one. Make a book club, another one. Another episode, another one. At some point, you will have to admit that no one can be rich unless one coin can make him or, or, or. At some point, you will have to admit that no one can be rich unless one coin can make him or, or where so. We can say the same about atomic habits. In one tiny change that transform your life, it's unlikely you would say so. But what if you made another and another and another? At some point, you will have to admit that your life was transformed by one small change. The only grade of habit of every change is not a single one percent improvement, but a thousands of them. But a thousands of them. It's a bunch of uh, atomic habits uh, stacking up. Each one a uh, fundamental unit of the overall system. In the beginning, small improvements uh, can often seem uh, meaningless because they get uh, washed away by the weight of the system. In the beginning, hey, hey. in the beginning, small improvements can often uh, seem meaningless because they get uh, washed away by the weight of the system. Just as one coin won't make you rich, one positive change like uh, meditating for one minute, excuse me, or reading uh, one page each day, is unlikely to deliver a noticeable uh, difference. I just look at the brain with the arm code, with the speakers and heavy. Gradually, gradually though, as you continue to layer small changes on top of uh, one another, the scales of uh, life start to move. Each improvement is like adding a grain is like adding a grain of sand to the positive side of the scale, slowly tilting things in your favor. Eventually, if you stick with it, you hit a tipping point. Suddenly, it feels easier to stick with good habits. 
the rate of the system is working for you rather than against you. What was the course of this book? We have uh, looked at uh, dozens of stories about uh, top performers, performers. We have heard about Olympic gold medalists, award winning uh, artists, business leaders, life, life saving uh, physicians, physicians, and star comedians who have all used the science knowledge to master their uh, craft and go to the top of the field. Each of the people, teams, and the companies uh, we have covered has uh, faced uh, different circumstances, but ultimately, progress, but we have covered as uh, faced different uh, circumstances, 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 but ultimately, progress in the same way. For a commitment to tiny, sustainable, sustainable and uh, unrelenting uh, improvements. Success is not a goal to reach or a finish line to cross. It is a system to improve, an endless uh, process to refine. In chapter one, I said, if you're having a trouble uh, changing your habits, the problem isn't you. The problem is your system. Bad habits repeat themselves again and again, not because you don't want to change, but because you have the wrong system for change. As this book uh, draw, draws to a close, I hope the opposite is true. With the four laws of behavior change, you have a set of tools and strategies uh, that you can use that, that you can use to build better systems and share better habits. Sometimes the habit will be hard uh, to remember, and you will uh, need to make it obvious. Obvious. Other times you won't feel like uh, starting and start like starting, and you will uh, need to make it attractive. In many cases. You might find that the habit uh, will be too difficult and you will uh, need to make it easy. And sometimes you won't feel like uh, sticking with it and you will need to make it satisfying. You can see this thing. We have a effortless thing, we have a difficult thing. Obvious, invisible. Attractive and unattractive. Easy, hard, satisfying, unsatisfying. You want to push your good bits toward the left side of the spe spectrum by making them obvious, effective, easy, and uh, satisfying. Meanwhile, you want to cluster your bad bits uh, toward the right side by making them invisible and unattractive, hard, and satisfying. Unsatisfying. Like for me, it's when I starting to use my phone. So I need to push it. Maybe I need to put it in, put it in, in not a place that is going to is it cross me. Maybe on the shelf or something. So it'd be hard for me to push it. This is continuous process. This is a continuous process. There is no finish line. There is no permanent solution. Whenever you are looking to improve, you can uh, rotate uh, for the four laws of behavior change until you find the next uh, bottleneck. Make it obvious, make it attractive, make it easy, make it satisfying. Round and round, always looking for the next way to get 1% better. The secret, the secret to getting the results that last is to never stop making improvements. It's remarkable uh, what you can build if you just don't uh, stop. It's remarkable the business you can build if you don't stop working. It's remarkable the body you can build if you don't stop training. It's remarkable the knowledge you can build if you don't stop learning. It's remarkable the fortune you can build if you don't stop saving. It's remarkable the friendship, the friendships you can build if you don't stop caring. Small habits don't end up, compound. That is the power of, atom of atomic habits. Tiny changes, remarkable results. It's taking a small every day. Keep working with the podcast. Keep working the podcast. This is we are going. We are closing one year. Let's see what happens when, when we are going to close five years, ten years, twenty years from now. We are going to be with my business with the food club, with my life, with working out. And I tell you, I struggle with. Be honest with you, I struggle with putting some uh, content on my motivation channel. 
and in 2020-21 I take a challenge to this to do this podcast and my challenge to 2022 is to put at least one episode one uh, video of a uh, and on my motivation channel like motivation so check them out check it out if I'm going to do it I'm going to do it because now I'm taking the accountability on myself and of course it's not and it has nothing to do the podcast it's five episodes of the podcast and add another thing and it's been the empire of media yeah let's go title appendix title what should you read next thanks you thank thank you so much for uh, taking the time to read this book it has been a pleasure sharing my book with you if you are looking for something to read next allow me to offer a suggestion if you enjoy the atomic habits then you might like my other writing as well my latest articles are sent out in my free weekly newsletter subscribers uh, are also the first to hear about my newest uh, books and projects finally in addition to my own book each year i sent a and say i sent out i say each year i send out a reading list of my favorite books from other authors on a wide range of subjects you can sign up at jamesclear.com slash newsletter we got the link to jamesclear.com in the description below so make sure so check it out jamesclear jm jam es cl eal dot com slash n e w s l e t t e r title little lessons uh, from the four from, from the four laws in this book I have introduced a four-step model for human behavior. Cure, carving, response, reward, reward. This framework not only teaches, teaches us how to create new habits, but also reveals some interesting insights about a human behavior. Problem path, one, cure, two, carving. Solution path, first, three, response, four, reward. In this section, I have compiled I've compiled uh, some lessons and a few bits of uh, common sense that are confirmed uh, by the model. The purpose of those exa- examples is to clarify just how useful and uh, wide ranging this framework is when describing human behavior. Once you understand the model, you will see examples of it everywhere. Title, awareness comes before desire. A craving is, create, is created uh, when you assign in meaning to in Q. When you assign meaning to a cue, your brain constructs an emotion, constructs an emotion or feeling uh, to describe your current situation. And that means a carving can only occur after you have uh, noticed an opportunity. That uh, happiness is simply the absence of desire. When you observe a cue, but do not uh, desire to change, you might do not, but do not desire to change your state. You are content with the current situation. Happiness is not about the achievement of a pleasure, which is joy or a satisfaction, but about the lack of desire. It arrives when you have no urge to feel indifferently. Happiness is a state you enter when you no longer want to change your life, when you no longer want to change your state. However, happiness is a fleeting because a new desire always come, comes along. As uh, Chid uh, Buddha says, happiness is, is a space between one desire being uh, fulfilled and the new desire forming. Likewise, suffering is a space between uh, having a change in state and getting it. Like it. It is the idea of pleasure that we, choose, that we chase. We seek the image of a pleasure uh, that we generate in our minds. At the time of action, we do not know what it, what it will be like to attain that image, even if it will uh, satisfy us. The feeling of, the feeling of, of satisfaction, satisfaction only comes afterward. This is what the Australian uh, neurologist uh, Victor Frankl uh, meant when he said that happiness uh, cannot be post. It must be in, used. In Desire is poor is post. Pleasure can use a uh, news and SUS from action, E-N-S-U-E-S from action. This occurs when you don't turn your uh, observations, observations into problems. 
The first step in any behavior is the observation. You notice a cue, a bit of information, of information, an event. If you do not desire to act on a, what you observe, then you are at peace. Carving is about uh, wanting to fix uh, everything. Observation without carving is a realization that you do not need to fix anything. So desires are not running uh, rampant. You don't, do not crave a change in state. Your mind does not generate a problem for you to solve. You are simply observing uh, an ex ex existing title. With a big enough why, you can overcome any how. Yeah, like this book club, it's enough why for me to so prove my English is enough why. It's big enough why for me to overcome how I'm going to do it. Friedrich, Friedrich Nietzsche, a German philosopher and poet, famously wrote, he who has a why to live for can be almost any how. This perhaps harbors an important truth about human behavior. If your motivation and desire are great enough, that is why are you are acting? Why are you are acting? You will take action even when it is uh, quite difficult. Great carbon can uh, power great action, even when friction, even when uh, friction is high. Title: Being curious is better than being smart. Being motivated and uh, curious uh, counts for more than uh, being smart because it leads to action. Being smart will never deliver results. On its own, on its own, because it doesn't it doesn't get you to act. It is desire, not anything, not intelligence, that prompts behavior. As Naval Ravi Kent says, the trick to doing anything is first cultivating a desire for is is to first the trick to doing anything is first cultivating a desire for it. Title: Emotions that drive behavior. Every decision is an emotional decision at some level. Whatever your logical reasons are for uh, taking action, you only feel compelled, compelled to act on them because of emotion. In fact, people with uh, damage to emotional centers of the brain can list uh, many reasons for taking action, but still will not act, but still will not act because they do not have emotions to drive them. This is why craving uh, comes before response. The feeling comes the first and then the able. We can only be rational and logical after we have been emotional. The primary mode of the brain is to feel. The secondary mode, mode the secondary mode is to feel. Our first response, the first non-conscious uh, portion of the brain is optimized uh, for feeling and uh, anticipating. Our second response is a slow conscious uh, portion of the brain is a part that uh, does the uh, thinking. Psychologists refer to this as system one. Feelings and rapid adjustments, ju 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 and, and feelings and uh, rapid judgments. This is system two, rational analysis, analysis. The feeling comes first, the feeling comes first, system one. The rationality only interven intervenes later, system two. This works great when we when the two are aligned, but it but it results in a biological and emotional thinking uh, when they are not. Title. Your response tends to follow your emotions. Our thoughts and the actions are rooted in what we find attractive, not necessarily in what is logical. Two people can notice the same set of facts and respond uh, very differently because they run those facts uh, through their unique emotional filter. This is one reason why appealing to emotion is typically more powerful than appealing to reason. If a topic makes someone feel emotional, they will rarely be interested in the data. This is why emotions uh, can be such a threat to wise decision making. Put another word. Most people believe that the reasonable response is the best, is the one. Put it and I put another word. Most people believe that the reasonable response is the one that benefits them, the one that satisfies their desires. To approach the situation from a more natural and emotional portion, 
position allows you to base your uh, spawns on the data rather than the emotion. Right. Suffering drives, drives progress. Suffering, suffering drives progress. The source of all uh, suffering is a desire for a change in state. This is also the source of all, uh, progress, all progress. The desire to change your state is what powers you to take action, to take action. It is one thing more uh, that pushes uh, humanity to seek improvements, develop new technologies, technologies, and reach for a higher level. With carving, we are uh, dissatisfied. We are dis dis with carving. We are dissatisfied, uh, but drive driven. Without carving, we are satisfied, uh, but lack ambition. Like uh, your actions reveal how badly you want something. If you keep saying something uh, in is a priority, but you never act on it, then you don't really want it. It's time to have an honest uh, conversation uh, with yourself. Your actions uh, reveal your true motiv motivations. Your actions uh, reveal your actions reveal how badly you want something again. Your actions reveal how badly you want something. If you keep saying something is a priority, but you never act on it, then you don't really want it. It's time to have an honest conversation with yourself. Your actions reveal your true motivations. Uh, to the point, the point really got me <laughs> with my motivation channel. Really got me. Right, the reward is on the other side of sacrifice. Response. Sacrifice of energy. Always uh, proceed the uh, reward. The collection, of, uh, the collection of resources. The runner, the eye, only comes after the hard run. The reward only comes after uh, the energy is spent. Right. Self-control is difficult because it is uh, not satisfying. The reward is an outcome that satisfies the uh, younger coming. This makes self-control ineffective because in everything, our desires uh, does not usually resolve them. Resisting a uh, temptation does not uh, satisfy, does not satisfy your craving. It just ignores you. It just ignores it. Ignores it. It. It creates a space for the craving to pass. Self-control requires you to release a desire, rather than satisfy it. Right, our expectations uh, determine our satisfaction. The gap between our craving, cravings, uh, between our cravings and our rewards uh, determines how satisfied we feel after taking action. After taking action, the mismatch between uh, expectations and outcomes is positive. Surprise and delight. Then we are more likely to repeat a behavior in the future. If the mismatch is negative, disappointment and uh, frustration. Then we are less likely to do so. For example, if you expect to get ten dollars and get to get ten dollars and get a one one dollar one hundred dollars, you feel great. If you expect to get one uh, one day, uh, to get hundred dollars and get ten dollars, you feel disappointed. Your expectation changes your satisfaction. An average experience uh, preceded uh, by high expect expectations. Is a disappointment. Is a disappoint, disappoint, disappointment. An average experience preceded by a low expectations is a delight. When I can get wanting approximately the same, you feel satisfied. Satisfaction equal liking minus wanting. This is the wisdom behind the Senesa famous quote: "Being poor is not having too little. It is wanting more." If you want to outpace your likes, you will always be unsatisfied. You are uh, perpetually uh, putting more weight on the problem than the solution. Happiness is uh, relative. When I first began sharing my writing publicly, it took me three months to get 1,000 subscribers. When I hit uh, the milestone, I told my parents and my girlfriend and, and my girlfriend, we celebrated. I felt excited and motivated. A few years later, I realized that there is 1,000 people who are signing up each day, and yet I didn't even think to tell anyone. I felt normal. It felt normal. It was getting I was getting results uh, 90 times uh, faster, and, uh, faster than before, but experiencing a little pressure over it. It wasn't until a few days later than, that I realized how absurd 
it was that I wasn't celebrating as something that would have seemed like a pipe dream just a few years before. And guys, for me, I think I'm going to do it after doing this podcast almost for you and getting only two subscribers and 217 views, total views. That because the motivation channel I, moved, I focused on to get the views and to grow. But trying to shift my views, my, my, my goals from getting the views to just put the content. And after, after doing this podcast for one year, almost one year, just putting the content without hoping to any results, I think I'm ready to do it in the same way on AKM motivation. Title the pain or failure uh, correlates to the eye, to the height of, expecta- of expectations, of expectations, of expectations. When the desire is high, it turns to not like, to not like the outcome. Failing to attend is something you want to see oops, more than failing to attend something you didn't think much about in the first place. This is why people say, I don't want to get my ops up. Title. Feelings come both before and after the behavior. Before acting, there is a feeling that motivates you to act, the craving. After acting, there is a feeling that uh, teaches you to repeat the action in the future, the reward. Q, bigger than craving feelings, bigger than response, bigger than reward feeling. How we feel influences uh, how we act, and how we act influences how we feel. Excuse me. Desire initiates, pleasure sustains. Wanting and liking are the two, devri- are the two drivers of behavior. If it's not a desirable, you have no reason to do it. Desire and craving are what initiate a behavior. But if it's not enjoyable, you have no reason to repeat it. Pleasure and, sati- and, pleasure and satisfaction are what sustain a behavior. Feeling motivated uh, gets you to act. Feeling successful gets you to repeat. Title. Of the clients uh, with experience, and it's replaced by acceptance. The first time when uh, opportunity arises, there is hope of what could be. You know, like every time there is a video, it's the hope of maybe this video could be the one that uh, going to go, go, it's, that is going to work, it's, that is going to be viral. It's going to change someone's life. I don't know, it's an each episode, and it's a video of okay, like motivation. Will be your expectations and cravings is based solely on a promise. The second time around, your expectation is uh, grounded by in reality, is grounded in reality. You begin to understand how the process works, and your hope is uh, gradually treated uh, for a more accurate uh, prediction and accept and acceptance of the likely outcome. Of the likely outcome. This is one reason why we continually grasp, 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 grasp for the latest set reach quick or weight loss uh, scam. New plans often up because we don't have any ex- experiences uh, to, ground our expect- to ground our expectations. New strategies uh, seem more uh, appealing uh, than old ones because they can have uh, unbounded uh, hope. As Aristotle, Aristotle uh, noted, youth is it, yeah, youth is easily the deceived because it is uh, quickly to because it is because it because it is quick to hope. Perhaps this can be revised rev- revised too. Yeah, it is easily deceived because it's because it only hopes. There is no experience to root the expe- expectations to root the expectation in. In the beginning, hope is all you have. How to apply those ideas to business. Over the years, I've uh, spoken at Fortune 500 uh, companies and uh, growing uh, startups about how to apply the science of small habits to run more effective uh, businesses and build better uh, product, products. I have compiled uh, many of the most uh, practical strategists, strategists to a short bonus uh, chapter. I think you will find it to be an incredibly useful addition the main idea is mentioned in Atomic Habits. You can download the chapter at Atomic Habits slash business, maybe. I didn't know it. Maybe we can read it. 
we need to check if we're going to order it in the maybe we can order it or no I don't know maybe we can look at a special episode or something let's see title how to apply those ideas to parenting one of the most uh, common questions are uh, the link is in atomichabits.com slash business title how to apply those ideas to parenting one of the most common questions I hear from models is uh, something along the, the lines of how can I get my kids to do this stuff, to do this stuff. The ideas in Atomic Habits are intended to apply a broadly to all of human uh, behavior. He learns also human, human stuff, which means you should find plenty of useful strategies in the main text. That said, uh, parenting does face its own uh, set of challenges. As a bonus chapter, I have uh, put together a brief guide on how to apply those ideas as, uh, specifically to parenting. You can download this chapter at atomic, atomic habits.com slash parenting. Acknowledgement. Let's see. Acknowledgement. Yeah, yeah. Acknowledgement. I have relied heavily on another during the creation of this book. Therefore, anyone else, anyone else, I must uh, thank my wife, Kirsty, who has been uh, indispensable, indispensable uh, for this process. She has played every role a person can play in the writing of the Bofe book. Sports friend, fan, critic, editor, a social uh, therapist. It is no exaggeration to say this book would be not be the same without her. It might not, it might not exist at all. We can't think in our life. We did it together. Uh, thank you very much for all of the slides. Good. Let's move to my daughter. Let's see. Oh, the author, the author. James Clear's uh, book has appeared in the New York Times, uh, Time, in New York Times, Time and Entrepreneur, and on CBS this morning, and in and he's taught in colleges, 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 colleges around the world. His website, uh, jamesclear.com, uh, receives uh, millions of visitors each month, and dozens of uh, thousands of subscribers subscribe to his uh, main newsletter. He is a creator of the Habits Academy, the primary training uh, platform for the primary uh, training platform for organizations, individuals uh, that are interested in building better habits in life and work. Guys, guess what? This is the end of the big episode. This is a... Uh, this is the uh, end the book and now I'm close it for one time. So guys thank I just want to say thank you much for joining me and thank you much for supporting me in doing this journey with Photomic Habits tomorrow is going to be the last episode of the series the takedowns the notes and everything that covered from this book. So I recommend to come tomorrow for family doll uh, process. But thank you very much. I really enjoy this I really enjoy making this podcast for you this making this uh, making this videos for you guys and I learned a lot from my from my own my own, from my own, from my own self. And I really I really enjoyed this episode and this book. And then guys it's give me some ideas and some motivation uh, to work on my also my motivation channel from 2002 and 2022 I'm going to crash my uh, to crush it to we are going to achieve 500 I <laughs> next thing this time we are going to achieve five five hundred episode which is <laughs> this is the numbers over here move to 500 like this is crazy guys this is crazy 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 yes i can't wait to <laughs> do the special episode of, of tomorrow for finishing the book and to the special episode of 250 episode which is so let's go, let's go, let's go. So guys, I hope to see you. I'm going on. I'm just going to see all of you and more tomorrow on the next episode of Extreme Exciting Episode because the book of the world.
זה כיבוק למדתי, זה לתקן אוף ספר, וגנתיים אין. ביי. Today is Sunday, Tuesday, it's Tuesday, 7 on December 2021, or Wednesday, 8 on December 2021, the time now is 0-0, 14 the night, wow. And I record three episodes, and I'm really tired, and I have to go to sleep, and tomorrow we're going to finish the book, so let's go, let's go, let's go, yeah, the day of the 3rd, the 7th, 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 כמו שחיכיתי להם, שיחזירו את הרמפה, אז הספקתי לעשות שלושה פרקים. זה קטלני מבחינתי. מחר נעשה את הסיום, את הסיום ספר, ואז זה מחמישי נוחצה בבית. את המחזור, כי אני לא יודעת כמובן, נחזור לבית, נעשה את הפרק סיום. והשישי נוחשישי, נוכל לשבת על העבודה בתקשורת המונים, נסיים אותה. יאללה, באמת, עכשיו כמו שאמרתי, לי כמו טבעי שם, אחרי שעשיתי שנה ולא קיבלתי כדאי שתי סאבים ו-217 צפיות. נמצא לי בראש כל העניין הזה של... לעשות בשביל הסאבים, לעשות בשביל זה, עכשיו אני הולך פשוט בשביל לעשות, שינה אותי, זה קידם אותי, פיתח אותי, פוקוס אחר, אז זה כמו טבעי שבשנה הבאה אני מתכוון לעשות חמישה פרקים של הפודקאסט, סרטון שלי כמו טבעי שאני לפחות אחד בשבוע, כאילו חמישים וארבע סרטונים, אני רוצה שאני אעשה איזה בוסט, נעשה את הכל במכה אחת, אני חושב שלוש עבודה, נסגור את כל הפינה, יאללה, שיהיה לנו בעצם חברים, ביסט, להתראות.